actually really good. And the winner is... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and today I am trying the weirdest and most bizarre food combinations people love. <laughs> I don't know how because these are wild, but we're going to test them and we're going to find out if they actually are good or if they're just bizarre. Also guys, make sure you stay tuned for the end of today's video because I am announcing the $50 giveaway winner. Okay, first combination is Fritos Jalapeno Cheddar Cheese Dip and a Snickers bar. I like cheese and chocolate but I don't know how I feel about this with Snickers. <laughs> okay, should I do a lot? I don't really want to do a lot, but I feel like I should. Okay. I feel like that is like more than enough. Here we go. Mm-mm. Okay, I don't like that. Mm -mm. That has the foulest taste to it. I had to try it again to make sure I really hated it, but I really... <laughs> Ew. Okay, whoever likes that, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I love me cheese and chocolate, okay? I'll dip an Oreo in like Lay's cheese dip, but... That is just too, too weird for me. All right, well now I'm scared to try the next one because the next one are brownies with ranch. Oh man. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit. Cause I'm kind of scarred from the last one. Okay, let's try it. Oh my god. Okay. Guys, that was so gross. I literally just spit it out. What is wrong with you people? Why do you like these? <laughs> these are disgusting. <laughs> do you want to try a brownie <laughs> with ranch? I am good. <laughs> are you sure? I'm good. It was so gross, I literally couldn't swallow it. <laughs> All right, next combination is a peanut butter mayo pickle sandwich. <laughs> and if this one is horrible, I might just give up. <laughs> All right, got the peanut butter. Put a nice thick layer, hopefully mask the mayo. Mayo, oh my gosh. We're just gonna do a little bit of mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise, but I don't know how I feel about mayonnaise with peanut butter and a pickle. This is just so bizarre. I guess we'll lay it this way because it fits nicely long ways. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, you guys. A peanut butter mayo pickle sandwich. <laughs> Okay, this one, I don't really know how I feel about it. Mm. 
Okay. Definitely an odd combination. Would I ever eat this again? Absolutely not. But compared to the last two ones I tried, <laughs> it's not awful. <laughs> you definitely mostly taste the pickle and a little bit of peanut butter. I don't taste any mayonnaise. I did skimp on the mayo just a bit, so maybe that's why. But... I'd say the other two are like a negative a thousand out of ten. This one's maybe like a three out of ten. There's got to be ones that are actually good. Like some of these that I saved must be delicious. Okay, we're just gonna keep going until we find one. What? Do you guys want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Okay, I can show you. Okay. All right. Look what. Say hi, little diaper girl. Somebody's in heat. Say hi. Say hi. I love you. Okay. Get down. Come here, Kratos. I can't pick you up. You're too heavy. <coughs> Say hi, buddy. <laughs> hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, she's jealous. <laughs> oh, man. I got two little ones hawking me this whole video. <laughs> they just want to be included. Right? Okay. While we have the pickles out, there are a few that I need to try with the pickles. So, the next one is Takis crushed up with like coating the pickles and then dipped in ranch. So this one I feel like is probably really good. So I'm gonna pour some of these in a bag. I'm gonna crush it up. I'm gonna put a pickle in it and I'm gonna shake it up. And we're gonna dip in some ranch and see how this one is. Okay. Taki coated pickle with just a little bit of ranch cause I don't really want any ranch now after that horrible brownie. <laughs> Let's try it. No, that is so weird. <coughs> it's so spicy, but like, not in a good way and the pickle just like makes it a really weird texture guys i feel like this whole video is like might actually be a fail can you okay so the last weird combination that i have for home before i then go to the drive through and get some weird combinations there is a fruit roll up yeah i know it's already opened orlando opened it shocker um, a fruit roll up and then it's going to wrap the pickle and then we're going to put tahine seasoning on it. It was also supposed to have chamoy seasoning on it as well, but I went to a million different stores and I couldn't find it. So I ordered it on Amazon and it was supposed to come in time and it is not here and it is five o'clock, four thirty. Um, and I gotta get this video up so that you guys know who the winner is. So couldn't wait any longer. So we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to roll with it. But I feel like it is weird enough without it. So I don't think, I don't think I'm missing out too much. <laughs> okay, we got the fruit roll up. We got the pickle. I don't think I'm gonna want pickles for a long time after this. <laughs> okay, tahine on top <laughs> all right let's give it a bite this is actually really good <laughs> it 
you guys the weirdest combination out of all the combinations kind of slaps <laughs> I think when the chamoy comes, I'm going to have to do it again. Maybe like film a short or something and try that on it and see if I like it better with it or without. But this is a 10 out of 10. Okay, for the final two weird and bizarre combinations, we are at McDonald's. Also, sorry about the dog food in the back. One of these days when I buy it, I'll remember to bring it in before I film in my car, but for now, you guys are just gonna have to deal with it, I apologize. <laughs> but we have a bacon cheeseburger with syrup. Honestly, I feel like this is gonna be bomb because I love syrup and like, breakfast meats I already told you guys that so it's probably so good but I wasn't sure if they were gonna give me syrup since it's nighttime so I literally brought my own <laughs> but we're good they did <laughs> okay let's put a bunch in there all right I feel like that is enough <laughs> It's, oh my gosh, I put so much, it's dripping at the bottom. Okay, we definitely put plenty. Let's give this a bite. I feel like this would probably be a lot better without ketchup on it because the ketchup kind of like throws it off a little bit, but let me like really dunk it in there and try it. This should be called how to make something that's already so bad for you even worse. <laughs> Honestly, this is good. I like this. <laughs> I would probably rate this maybe like a 7 out of 10. I definitely, like if I were to ever order this again, I'm not sure if I would. Because <laughs> it's just kind of unnecessary. Um, I would get it with no ketchup for sure. Because I do think the flavor of the ketchup throws it off just a little bit. But... I love <laughs> bacon and syrup. Mm, that is just so good. For the final weird and bizarre food combination, we have the weirdest and most bizarre of all. We got a little bit of dinner and dessert going on <laughs> to finish the video off with this. We have french fries, a McChicken, and I know you're all probably thinking milkshake an M&M McFlurry. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna deconstruct the McChicken. She is messy. Then we're gonna put all the French fries on it. The more the merrier. Love me some French fries. <laughs> Okay. So I was planning to dip it, but I'm not going to be able to dip it because it's just like too full. So we're just going to put a big old spoonful right on top. Oh my gosh. I really hope nobody can see me right now. <laughs> okay. Do you think that's good? All right, it's gonna be cold. Okay, let's try it. Mm. 
That is so good. <laughs> okay, so you already know like fries and ice cream goes together, right? Like that is bomb. And people have tried like chicken nuggets and ice cream. Apparently like that is bomb. So when you put chicken and french fries together and then the ice cream, it's just like delicious. And then it's probably so weird, but like the M&Ms give it such like a nice like crunch and like sweetness and you have like the sweet and the salty. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh my God, I'm like kind of embarrassed to say that out loud. What did you have for dinner tonight? Oh, you know, a uh, McChicken with French fries and a McFlurry. Oh, the McFlurry for dessert? No, the McFlurry on top. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works, right? <laughs> okay, the time has come. The moment you've all been waiting for. I'm finally announcing the winner of the $50 giveaway. Okay, so I have the wheel of fortune i have all your names on there so i will spin it randomly and i'll put it up on the screen so you guys can also see it all right should we do a drum roll and the winner is julian okay so congratulations I will reach out to you on Instagram. Um, if I don't message you within the next couple of days, probably because I can't find you. So make, make sure you message me and then I will give you your money. Thank you all so much for participating. And I promise you, if you didn't win this one, there will be plenty of giveaways in the future. So you will continue to have a chance at winning. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for supporting me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a weird one, but I hope you guys liked it anyway. Maybe got some laughs by my um, responses with, you know, brownie and ranch. Do not try that at home. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys like this, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.